Hello and welcome to this video. So this video will cover the difference between Murph AI versus Well Said Labs and uh, give you my opinion as to which one I think is better. All right, so let's begin. Uh, the very first thing I want to talk about is accessibility. So when you go into Well Said Labs in order to sign up, uh, you need a domain name. They won't accept Gmail emails. All right, so you're going to need something like you know your your website at you know sorry your whatever your your email is at your website.com uh, they need a company email for you to to try out the free um you know the free free account which makes it a lot more restrictive versus murph they you know you can just sign up with any old email and not have to worry about that so when it comes down to the ease of sign up i have to give it to murph next thing is the ui UI um, for both is is pretty much uh, very very well laid out, but um, I'd say it's about the same. I, I prefer the lighter theme over the dark, but that's just you know my my personal opinion. Overall, when it comes to navigation, it, it's about the same. Next, it comes down to characters when it, how many characters you can input at one time. Now, this is very important because I've tried a lot of different uh, text to speech softwares and quite a few of them put down artificial limitations onto how much you can input in here, which makes things very time consuming. If you have a long passage, all right, you, you wouldn't think that little small things like this matter, but when you're trying to do a 10 minute video and you have to do it sentence per sentence, uh, it's going to take you a while. So I have a 900 word, right? Um, a 900 word article, which I'm, I'm trying to paste in here. And it only allows me um, up to 5,143 characters. All right. So that, that, that's pretty much it. And let me show you where I got that from. That's from here. As you can see, the word is 878. And go all the way down. And you can see that it stopped at 5. Okay. So it stopped roughly around here. All right? It couldn't get manipulation and anything down here. And that, that's a shame because now I have to kind of render render things twice and then merge it together, which is kind of a pain in the neck. Um, so that, that, that is a, a, a big drawdown when it comes down to Well Said Labs. When it comes to Murph Studio, this is kind of a, a, a huge plus. I can click uh, Control V and paste everything in one shot all the way down. So it covers all 878... Um, all 878 words, no problem. And that's why I, I think is really, really great selling point when it comes down to Murph. All right, let me see what's going on. Okay. So that's, that's the, that's the um, really big win for Murph as well. The next is avatars. Uh, well said labs has, uh, let me see three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen uh, let's see about 48 49 so it has about 49 voices voice avatars and you compare that to Murph, and Murph has three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Oh, these are just a feature. Sorry. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Three, four, five, six, seven. They have about the same amount of avatars. Okay. But when when you hear the 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 voice quality, you can I'll, I'll let you hear from yourself to see which one you think is more realistic. Now, my favorite one is probably Elena. Right? Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut, don't overthink it, and allow yourself a little room to play. Your creative life. Okay, and as you can see, it sounds pretty good. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut. 
Don't overthink it. Uh, that sounds a bit, you know, fake. <laughs> Let's try Sophia. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Same as well. That's That has that robotic tone. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Same. All right. So, look, just because uh, software has a lot of avatars, realistic spe re realistically speaking, only a few of them are going to be you're going to be able to use because they, they sound real. The rest is just what I call filler voices, right? as you can tell. Let me play another one. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut. Don't overthink it and allow yourself a little room. See, it has that, I don't know, that staticky, scratchy uh, thing in the background. So in my opinion, Elena is the best for well-said labs, but a lot of them are kind of, uh, not very realistic. And then let's try uh, Murph. And let me go to, oops, let me go to Pro. This is my favorite, Natalie. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with real chicken. And then Samantha. Unwrap the rumpled golden cover to reveal a chocolate. Michelle. Hi, and welcome to our company-wide training video on organizational culture and policy. Julie. At ISH, we consider our patients' health and treatment of the utmost importance. That's why it's crucial that our entire... Okay, so as you can tell, I think the, the, the amount of avatars with realistic sounding voices has to go to Murph. Um, you have real, you know, actual choices and selection here versus well said labs. Uh, she sounds great. Elena sounds great, but the rest, uh, they don't quite make the cut in my opinion. All right. Now let me go ahead and render a small passage so you can have more to work with and you can kind of compare apples to apples. The best, in my opinion, the best voice for uh, Murph versus the best voice avatar for well said labs and you can go ahead and and see for yourself so i'm going to take a small just a very small section uh maybe this one here and then i'm going to go to murph close this enter it here okay build audio and i'm going to do the same with well said labs let me delete this create Okay, and I'm going to go to Murph and uh, let's see if you can hear it. Okay, I'm going to pause it real quick and let it do its thing. Okay, it's done. So let's hear the results. This is Murph, uh, Natalie from Murph. Toxic people are everywhere. You might have one in your family, at work, or even in your social circle. And sometimes these toxic people can be difficult to spot. If you want to know if someone is toxic, there are a few things you can look for that will help you know for sure. Okay, sounds pretty good. And then you got Elena. Toxic people are everywhere. You might have one in your family, at work, or even in your social circle. And sometimes these toxic people can be difficult to spot. If you want to know if someone is toxic, there are a few things you can look for that will help you know for sure. Okay. Now, they're pretty close. Like, I gotta say that they're, they're pretty, pretty close, but... Unfortunately, as I was skimming through all of these um, voice avatars for Well Said Labs, like I said, a lot of them aren't as good as this one. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Versus, you know, Murph, you have a lot more options. All right. So I just want to be sure. And then the last thing is voice settings. With Murph, you can change the pitch. You can change the speed. All right. So you can make it fast, or higher or lower. All right. You can change the speed, make it slower or faster. You can change the volume, make it a bit louder. You can emphasize certain things. Add a pause, which is very important, right? whether it's a short one or a strong one. And then you can you can change the pronunciation. With Well Said Labs, you know you can only change pronunciation. You can't really add pauses. You can't really. It's very very limited in what you can do. And unfortunately, that really hurts uh, a decent software because um, a lot of times. It, 
if you've used a lot of text to speech, you would know what, I, what I'm talking about when I say this. Um, they mispronounce the words, yeah, but they also speak. They kind of speak it too quickly. Let me let me go ahead and, and play play this section, and you can hear you can get a, a feel for that. Toxic people are. I want to know if someone is toxic. There are a few things you can look for that will help you know for sure. Okay, yeah, there are a few things you can look for that will help you know for sure. See it 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 because of that it doesn't quite sound natural. All right, so. You might want to eliminate that pause or you might want to speed it up here and you have no option to do that here versus you know murph you can you can add a pause if you need to right? if you need to add a pause you can simply go in here add a pause and here you go you have a weak pause a strong pause and it makes it it makes this text sound much more realistic than um and this other text to speech because a lot of times text to speech we just say things too quickly, right? And it'll give it away that it's text to speech. So that's why a pause, something stupid like a pause, is actually very important. You wouldn't think so, but it's it's really important, especially when you're reading headlines, subheadings, titles. Right? It, it's very very important when when it comes to those those uh, features. So overall, you know, when I have to you know give my conclusion. When it comes up to the sign up process and ease of, of access and transparency, I, I, I like Murph AI because you can just sign up with a regular email. When it comes to UI, it's both the same. Uh, when it comes to characters that you can convert to audio in one shot, when it comes to text, how much text you can paste in and how much you can convert to audio, Murph wins hands down. I will said labs is it's it's very, very small amount of text you can you have to convert. All right. And then uh, as for the avatars. Uh, like I said earlier, Murph has more of a of a choice of a real choice when it comes down to different types of voices. You you can tell that you know they're very all all mostly for the pros are very very high quality, and when it comes down to well said labs, um, maybe one or two are really really good, and the rest are just filler. All right, so overthink it and allow yourself a little room to play. See, that sounds like a like a kind of like a filler voice. Versus this one. Your creative life will evolve in ways. Right? This is really the only. So that's why I think this is. This and maybe one other are only the real options. The rest are, are kind of like fake selection. Right? It gives you like the, the illusion of selection. But really you're not going to. You're most likely not going to pick those voices. So overall I have to give everything to you. Murph AI. For the, for this uh, competition. Um, if you like I'll leave the link down below. And you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.